welcome to tonight's news. Our main story tonight, a woman who travelled the world in a year. We have an exclusive interview with her about her worldly experiences. Here's what she had to say. I wanted to ask you about your travels. We heard you went on some travels recently, well, not long ago. <laughs> not so long ago, about, about four or five years ago, <laughs> yes I did. Right. What was your favourite destination you went to? Um, my favourite destination was India. Um, because I really like the people and the places, and I've been there a couple of times. So. Was that what was your favourite thing about visiting overall? Um, it has to be different uh, visiting different parts of India because I went to the north of India, which I've never been to before, um, and exploring Delhi and Jaipur and Agra and Taj Mahal, that sort of thing. Yeah. And out of all the places you visited, which one was your worst? Um, Fiji was the worst place that I visited. Fiji? <laughs> yes. What's the reason for that? Um, I just didn't like it. I was stuck on one island for a week and I'd been travelling around lots of different places and I just felt a little bit restricted because within a day I'd explored the whole island and I was a little bit bored. Although I enjoyed lying in the sun, it, it was I was there to see different places. So. What made you want to travel around the world? Um, I decided that I would like to take some time out of work and um, just go and see what's out there uh, and gather resources. As an art teacher, I wanted to gather some resources and visual sources for my work. So if you were offered the opportunity, would you do it again? Definitely, yes. <laughs> Which Definitely. places would you go to this time? Um, I would possibly go to India again because it is my favourite place. I'd like to explore America in a little bit more depth um, but there's a whole range of other places that I've never been to like South America, um, Laos, uh, Vietnam, that sort of, those sorts of places. Yeah. Thank you. This concludes the news for tonight. Goodbye. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.